Here we're asked to graph y equals 9x squared minus 5. We begin by making note that a equals 9, which is greater than 0. This indicates that the parabola opens upward. Next, we determine the y-intercept. The y-intercept will be 0 comma c. And in this case, c is negative 5. So the y-intercept is 0 comma negative 5. And that's our first point. Next, we determine the x-intercept. We get the x-intercept by setting y equal to 0. In this case, we have 0 equals 9x squared minus 5. We can solve this by extracting roots. Adding 5 to both sides, we have 5 equals 9x squared. Dividing both sides by 9, we have 5 ninths equals x squared. Now we can apply the square root property and write this is equivalent to plus or minus the square root of 5 over 9 and that'll equal x. Simplifying we have plus or minus the square root of 5 over 3 equals x. Notice we get two solutions for x. Therefore we have two x-intercepts. We have an x-intercept at negative square root of 5 over 3 comma 0 and positive square root of 5 over 3 comma 0. Now on a calculator that's about 0.75 or negative 0.75 comma 0 and 0.75 comma 0. That'll be important later when we graph this. Next we determine the vertex. The x value of the vertex can be gotten using the formula negative b over 2a. In this case, b is 0. So we have negative 0 over 2 times 9. Well, 0 divided by anything other than 0 is 0. So the x value of the vertex is 0. To determine the corresponding y value, we substitute x equals 0 into the original equation. We have 9 times 0 squared minus 5. 9 times 0 is just 0, leaving us with negative 5. So the vertex is 0 comma negative 5. Notice the vertex is the same as the y-intercept. We can begin to sketch the graph. So far we have three points. The y-intercept, which also happens to be the vertex at 0 comma negative 5. Well, that's right here. And the two x-intercepts. We have an x-intercept at about negative 0.75 comma 0 and 0.75 comma 0. So let's determine two more points to get a better feel for this graph. Let's use the x values negative 1 and 1 and find the corresponding y values. Substituting negative 1 into the original we have y equals 9 times negative 1 squared minus 5 or 9 minus 5 which is equal to 4. That tells me negative 1, 4 is a point on the graph. Let's substitute 1 in, y equals 9 times 1 squared minus 5. Well, that's going to be the same. We have 9 minus 5 again. The corresponding y value is 4. So that tells me 1, 4 is a point on the graph. And we can really see the shape of the graph here, the parabola opening up. I'll sketch that in now. Now when the points on the graph are not so clear, we should always label those. So this point here is negative square root of 5 over 3 comma 0. And the x-intercept here is square root of 5 over 3 comma 0. Positive square root of 5 over 3 comma 0. And the graph is complete.